Okay, so here we are in the front yard, and right up front, I've got a blueberry hedge. Now I've got about eight of them, four different varieties. They said that's key to good production when you have mixed varieties of blueberries. Funny thing is, when I was putting this hedge in, one of my neighbors were walking by, and the first thing she said to me was, oh, make sure it's pretty. Well, <laughs> it's not pretty. In fact, I tried to kill the grass below it with some newspaper before I put the wood chips down and this pesky little St. Augustine grass grew through it in multiple places. So this is one of the gardening fails that we'll probably go through in a future video and talking about how to get rid of grass around your food. Um, over here, it's a lychee. My husband loves that. I don't think I've ever tried it, but I'm growing for everyone in our home. I've got two avocados here. This first one is about three years old, and it's not doing so well. It's still on a stake. It's weathered a couple of hurricanes, but it's still not standing on its own. And that's why I planted the second one here, just in case I have to cut that one I'll still have a second to go back on. I don't know which variety it is. I went to the store, I bought it, I planted it. That's me, rash planting. Um, I know I have to work on that in order to be a better gardener. Um, this coconut tree is doing really well. If you notice in other parts of the neighborhood, there are a lot of palm trees. This is Florida, people like their palm trees. But I want one that's gonna give me food. So this one is doing well, it's maybe four years old. And I know it's gonna take a long time, but at least it's there and it will be ready in a few years. Um, there are a couple other ornamental palms which may or may not live for another two years. And several ornamentals that comes with the property. Ooh, a beautiful little pond, we put this in here not too long after we moved. And there are a few fishes in there with some lilies. Oh, here's one of my friends. Hi. Beautiful goldfish. I think there are about five or six in there. And we recently got it cleaned. Here's another one. Ooh, fishy, 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 fishy. Um, I've got it on an automatic timer because we were out of town. But that's a beautiful lily. Let me get a close up of that. Okay. These, I think, will come out too. Maybe not all, but why not use it to grow food? A few cacti in pots. On this side of the driveway, there's an orange tree. We've had some problems with greening disease in Florida. And there's a spray that you can use to control it, but you have to get it early enough. As we come back to the side of the house, you notice it's already shaded completely and a partial fence there. So there's not much space. I wanna utilize this, but it will have to be something that doesn't need a full day sun. And I don't know what I can plant there, but you guys could probably give me some ideas. Um, here we've got a lemon tree, it's about four years old, and it's a high producer. I even give away to friends and relatives and uh, neighbors. Beautiful lemon tree. I'm not going to let it get much bigger than that because, really, how much lemon can one person need? Back here, I have a cute little plant. It's called a chenet. Um, it grows in clusters like grapes. It's got a green outer shell and a single seed. The fruit is the consistency of the lychee, but it's a bit softer and sweeter. Now this tree, <coughs> excuse me, in Trinidad usually is humongous. But by the time it gets humongous, it might be someone else's problem. <laughs> but at least I'll get a few fruits from it. 
I think I can do something around the base of this tree. It's a pine tree. I don't really need it. Sometimes I collect the pines for crafts and the droppings for compost, but uh, who needs a pine tree? This mango tree is a beauty. The fruits are about the size of my hand, maybe bigger. And I'm learning about pruning trees and fertilizing them so that they can be the size you want it to be. They don't have to grow to, you know, sizes that you can't even reach. Um, so I'm going to be teaching myself and if you follow along with me ways to prune your fruit trees so that they remain a size that you'd like. You get enough fruit from it to be productive and you're feeding it enough that it doesn't have to get giant roots and giant trunks to search out food. There are a few things in containers that I haven't decided where I want to put it. First is a blackberry and next to the sapodilla, one of my favorites. I need to feed my birds. They've come to rely on me. Um, another coconut, not doing as well as the one in the front. This one gets maybe six hours of sun compared to the front yard, but it's not doing too badly. Um, patch of bananas. This was a tall papaya tree that fell during the hurricane and I'm just going to let that rot and use it for compost. I definitely want to replant a papaya. It's one of my favorite fruits. Um, I've got a little bit of a raised bed here. If you notice, it is probably 3 o'clock and I've already got shade coming onto the garden. This is something else we could deal with in one of our future videos about overcoming limited sun. What plants to use in areas that don't get full sun. Let's go through some of these plants here. Um, I've been experimenting with regrowing things thanks to the YouTube channel. I've got a pineapple and a lettuce not doing so well but the celery is doing well. I've regrown celery before so that one's looking well and then another avocado from seed. Um, couple buckets of onions those are looking really nice they've already started to bulb up see they're getting nice big bulbs there and this is March March in Florida so that's that's not too bad I don't think I planted it in the right time of the year but <laughs> I'll still get some onions uh, this is an aloe vera apparently everyone in the world should have an aloe vera plant so I have one uh, passion fruit I have no idea where I'm going to put that bad boy, but somehow it will be in my yard. This I am so excited about. A dragon fruit. Whoa, I am so excited about growing this. As soon as I find the right place to put it. <laughs> oh boy. A patch of broccoli. Kale. Love me some crisp kale. Um, lettuce. Now, I only have one... Um, plant of lettuce because I really just go around the edges and pick the big leaves and let it continue to grow All right um, down there is a variety of cilantro that grows in the Caribbean it's broad leaves and sharp on the edges and I think this one's already going to see but um, if you leave it there it will come back tastes and smells just like your regular cilantro which I have somewhere else in my herb garden but it's just a different shape to the leaf uh, this here is a pigeon pea hmm. I was so excited when I got this and I picked maybe about 25 um, pods and I got it in the fridge and I was so excited I'm gonna make me some pigeon peas and they're still in the fridge maybe a month later gardening fail We'll go through that in a video, how to utilize your produce so that you're not wasting it, like me. <laughs> a handful of peppers. Um, I've got something by seed there. Oh, that's a Swiss chard, still by seed. <clears throat> Some collards. This is a variety of eggplant I haven't tried before. I've already picked some 
and once you start picking them, they come really fast. Uh, strawberry patch. This is another gardening fail. Well, not so much. A mixture of a fail and learning process. Um, I ordered them for my planting zone and they sent them apparently when they thought it was the right time for me which was somewhere January I believe and not a whole lot of them came up and then I bought some more and I'm working through that so learning process about when is the right time to plant the right foods a few radishes there my husband loves radishes uh, one tomato I'm not big on tomatoes because I don't know one tree usually gives me enough that I need most of them just fall along the wayside uh, what do I have here um, cabbages I forgot about my cabbages a few cabbages in there um, something has been eating my okra, but the stems are still green, so I'm just going to let them go and see how long they want to thrive. A purple pepper and cucumber. I've got a few wax beans and Chinese long noodle beans still there. A few of them are coming up. And summer squash. Over here, just a few herbs. Green onion. This is broadleaf thyme. Mmm, smells great. Um, basil not looking so good. Rosemary. And this here, we call it a dashin. It's actually a root vegetable. You can actually use the leaves when they're young and tender to make a liquid. Mm, how do I call it? It's called callaloo but it's kind of like a thick soup. And then you can pull up the roots and boil it, similar to potato, all right? This side of the fence, not a whole lot of sun. Um, something tall would do well there once it's over the fence line, but I'd have to grow it in a bucket until it was able to go on its own. And a few wild, pieces of cilantro growing around every once in a while I see one in the garden and I transplant it so as you can see here it's not a ton of space compared to a lot of places but I feel like I can pack this place with enough food oh forgot about these pack this place with another a lot of food and fruits and vegetables to keep me content this is a Florida peach. Mm, I think it's two years old. And this is an uh, Indian white guava. And there's pretty little flowers. I was very surprised to see the flowers already. Can we zoom in there? I don't see any fruit yet. So it may not fruit this year. It probably just flowered out of habit. And we've got some cold weather that came in that uh, shunned, <clears throat> uh, sorry, not, uh, stunned some of the growth. So we'll see what we get. So I'm hoping you guys could give me ideas about what else we can cram into this little space here. And I'm looking forward to our journey together. Feel free to comment on what you think we can add to this space. Don't forget to like and subscribe and look forward to all the rest of the journey. Tips and tricks and failures and successes of my garden gardening journey. Um, so feel free to like and subscribe.